Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. In this video, I'm going to show you Q item processing order. So in this video, we'll cover like what is the correct sequence in which Q items is processed based on the deadline and priority. In this video, I'm going to take five scenarios which will help you to understand how Q items get processed. I will show you this one practically, but before that, let me show you rules of this Q item processing order. There are two rules. First, items that have a deadline as follows in order of priority and B according to the set deadline for items with the same priority. Second, items with no deadline in order of the priority and A according to the rule first in first out for items with the same priority. So I'm going to show you all these things. So better I can explain you with the help of practical example. So I'm going to take five scenarios here. First, we have six items available in queue. And these are like this. We have four deadlines and then we have two that doesn't have any deadlines. So let me create the same as that in our queue and then I will show you how these items will be processed. So I have these queue items. We have six employee IDs. So we have these items. You can see the reference first. This is the first item ID added here. So first in first out like that. So first, second, third, fourth, five, six. And you can see here 22nd of March, 21st, 21st and 22nd. You can see same as that. Now I'm going to run this one so that you will able to see how this item is getting processed. So I have already designed this process to get items from queue and then process. So let me run this. And now you'll see here in the outputs, let me show you. So this is our sequence. And the sequence is first, Transaction number third is processed and then transition number first is processed. So three, one, four, two, six, and then five. Let me show you here. So first item will be processed based on the rule. Items have a deadline as follows. So if you have item that has a deadline, so it will first process based on the priority. So first number this one, second number this one, third number this normal, fourth number is the low right this second one now fifth number again now we'll have you can see here we have two items that doesn't have any deadline but it has a different different priority so it will pick first this high priority and then it will pick normal priority so this is the sequence in which these q items persist now i'm going to show you second scenario so in the second scenario we have two items with the same deadline but they are different priority one item that has a dif uh, different deadline but has a normal priority and then two items uh, that has no deadline but a different priority. So you can see here deadline 22nd of March, high, normal and then normal and two items that doesn't have any deadline but that is high and low, high and low. So we have again now five items. Now let me run that and then let me run that. Now you can see here the sequence of this item is first third second fourth and fifth so first this item is picked because if you see we have 22nd and 21st but 21st is with the priority normal so that is not on priority so first it will pick the deadline with the high priority so that's why it picked first one and now here we have deadline and now we have two deadline 21st and 22 but but we had we have the same priority normal priority so in this it will first pick 22nd 22nd of march with the priority normal because this is the letter we have 22nd so first the deadline with 21st will be processed and then 22nd will be processed because this is urgent this is not urgent because we have the deadline is 22 so it can be processed later also so so that's why first this item will be processed and then this item and then this item now it will go to the no deadline so in the no deadline first it will process no deadline with the high priority and then no deadline with low priority so the sequence is 
first first one will be first third will will be second second will be third fourth will be fourth and fifth will be fifth now i'm going to show you third scenario so in the third scenario we have two items on the top that is no deadline and it has the high priority and the normal priority now on the third and fourth number we have a deadline with high high priority and then at the last we have no deadline with the low priority now here we you can see here we have deadline that is same date priority is same so as per the rule if no deadline and in, in order of priority so it will if the same priority so it will process first in first out so in this scenario it will process third number and then fourth number like that so you can see here now we have this excel let me add this to queue so you will see here we have no deadline with high and normal no deadline high and normal and two deadlines with a high and one with low priority let me run that so you can see now the order of this processing order is the sequence is third fourth then one two five first it will process with the deadline with the high priority but if we have the deadline same deadline same priority so first it will pick based on the fifo structure based on the fifo so third will be the first one so first third then fourth and then first and then second and then fifth now let me show you scenario four here we have five items that doesn't have any deadline so no deadline but the priority is different different let me add this to queue so you can see here we have five items that doesn't have any deadline so let me add this to queue so you can see a normal high and then low low and high so this item we are going to process so this item will be processed based on the first high priority and then normal priority and then low priority but if we have low priority two items with the low priority so first it will process the FIFO structure one so based on this first it will process second number then fifth number then first number then third number and then fourth number let me run this so the processing order is second fifth one three four second with high priority fifth with the high priority first is the normal priority then third and fourth now we have fifth scenario so in the fifth scenario we have first one that with with the deadline and the priority low last number we have deadline with the priority low and three items we have no deadline but the priority is different different so you can see here now we have these items where the first one first item has a deadline and the last item has a deadline and these three items doesn't have a deadline let me add this to queue so you can now see here we have two items with the low priority with the deadline two items with the low priority and deadline and three items with no deadline normal high and low priority normal high and low priority now let me show you what is the sequence in which the item will be processed so based on this first it will process a deadline with a priority so here we have two items with the deadline and priority low so as i told you so item will be processed with no uh, with the deadline but with the same process so first you will check with the deadline in order of the priority second it will set deadline based on the same priority it means fifo structure so in this one first first item will be processed with the deadline and then it will process fifth number so sequence will be first second and then now we have no deadline so in the no deadline with the normal and high and low priority so first it will process high priority and then normal priority and then low priority so first second third fourth and fifth let me run this so you can see here the processing transition number the sequence is first fifth third second and fourth so so this is the sequence this is the correct sequence in which the queue items is processed so i have shown you here practically with five scenarios and i hope this concept is clear for you like in which sequence 
these items will be processed if we have a deadline we have the priority we have no deadline we have the priority if we have the deadline with the same priority if we have no deadline with the same priority then how and what will be the correct sequence in in which the item will be processed so i hope this is useful so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you are new to this thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you